What up, what up, what up? What's up, California? How is socialism treating you today, boys? Probably horrible, because socialism sucks, and that's why a lot of you guys watch my show, right? A lot of California investors looking to invest out of state, and you know what we're doing today? We're going to partner on a bird deal, right? So if you're looking for that out-of-state cash flow and you want to get a better return than traditional turnkey, you're in the right spot. I'm going to walk you through how you could partner with me on a four-unit bird deal. Let's go! This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here today. Today, we're getting into bird deals, boy. Yeah. Working with my man, Jeff. From Temecula, California. I am freaking pumped today. Why? Because we're doing burr deals, man. And we're going to burr my favorite kind of property. The four unit, folks. You all know I love the four unit. I love the four unit more than a three unit. I love it more than a two unit. I love it more than a five unit. And doing burr deals, that's how you get the sweet, sweet equity. And I'm going to walk my guy Jeff right now through the details, how we're going to work together, how the whole shebang's going to go. And folks, if you're out there in Cali and you're like, dude, I'm in Cali. I would love to do a burr deal like James and Jeff are doing. I also hate socialism and i think it's messed up that if my tenants don't want to pay rent they don't have to because in la county it's been three years now three years of not paying rent and you're not allowed to evict them if you're like holy hell what happened to my freedoms i'm going to move my money out of california because three years that rent is optional is mind-boggling but I don't want to overpay going turnkey. I want to do a bird deal with James, just like Jeff did. Below, below the video, folks. Watch the video first. You haven't even seen me and Jeff's deal, right? Watch the deal. Make sure you dig the deal. Make sure it makes sense to you, right? After that, though, under this here video, right? You find your iPhone or your whatever the hell, your, your tablet, your, your TV. I don't know. Well, if you're on your TV, you probably can't click on it, but... If you're on those other devices, under the video, man, click the link, book a free call on my team, get yourself a video in real time like Jeff is. Because, folks, if you're not Jeff, you can't do this deal. I sent this video to Jeff privately months ago, only released it on Holton Weiss TV publicly after the fact. So, Jeff, brother, let's get into this bird deal right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. We doing a burr, baby. Burr deal. We are going to burr the hell out of this, man. This property could make us a lot of money. We got to get a really good price, though, right? Here's the thing. You're out of state investing, right? You're partnering with Holton Wise because you want to do a burr deal together, right? You're trying to invest out of state. Everybody that watches the show... Uh, well, not everybody that watches the show, but a lot of people that watch the show and end up becoming customers of Holton Wise have a very similar story, right? Uh, it usually involves, hey, I live in this state and the government don't let me evict my tenants and the properties cost too much. I fucking hate it. You hate it too, Jay Wise. Let's fucking do some deals, right? I mean, that's an oversimplification, but like, that's what we deal with, right? There's just a lot of states out there where it's untenable for new investors to get deals going. Uh, Landlord-tenant policies, they're out of this world, right? Like California, right? Uh, we just did a story on that the other day. They have extended their eviction moratorium in California until 2023. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Three fucking years. Uh, you, you could be the owner of a rental property in L.A. County. And for three fucking years, uh, that horrible, horrible 
hell on earth government ran nazi government ran location is allowing someone to steal your property and you can't do shit about it right so that's terrible i feel bad for those people but guess what a lot of those people are driven out of california and they're driven here because there are uh, more reasonable locations in the united states in addition the prices are much cheaper right but here's the thing oftentimes when you guys are in that uh tough spot you end up in a you know rock you're in a rock between a rock and a hard place? Yeah, that's how you say it. You're between a rock and a hard place, right? You're like, ah, oh, stay home in a place like California where it's expensive, it's insane. I mean, think Portland, right? Same thing. Uh, I'm screwed every which way I move over here, so let me go out of state. But then you go out of state, and all you could do is buy traditional turnkey, and you're paying over, uh, over market value, right? That's where the turnkey provider buys distressed real estate, and they fix it up, and then they capture all that equity, capture all the good profit, and then sell it to you at an inflated price. But you're like, no, I'm out of state. I got no options. Fuck. They're fucking me over here. They're fucking me over there. Right? That's where you end up, right? So a lot of people, they end up coming here. You partner with us, so we could actually put you on the forefront, right? Get you in touch with the distressed sellers and have you do the deal, and we'll act as your partner, your boots on the ground, your teammate. And that's what we're going to do here, right? So you're going to see me try to beat – uh the price down on this particular deal right because i don't work for the seller i am not the seller i work for you and by the way folks the stuff i teach you guys here on hope Mice tv if you want to partner with me and do it in the cleveland market you can just below the video book a free call with my team and you can work with me one-on-one -on -one. if you want to do the strategies and the things i teach you here on Holton Mice tv at home in your own home market what you want to do is uh, check this out, right? Prop stream below the video in the notes. I have a free trial for you guys. This is essentially the MLS, right? That's what this show's about. I pull up these properties on the MLS. It's essentially like MLS type data for the entire United States. And the things I teach you, the negotiation tactics we're going to utilize with like this particular seller. If you want to do it at home, go ahead and sign up uh, for Prop Stream's free trial that we're offering. And you can get all that data. You can search the kinds of houses you need, get the data, directly reach the sellers, cut out the middleman, and really do some damage, right? The data is what you need, folks. And best of all, if after your free trial you want to keep using the data because you're making that coin, well, because you're a Holton Lies TV subscriber, you get a discount. But if you don't want to do it on your own, you want to partner with me, you got to do it in Cleveland, and this is how we're going to do it, right? So we're going to burr this thing. 3190 West 41st, Cleveland, Ohio, 4409. I love this neighborhood, okay? This neighborhood is technically called Clark Fulton, but I call it the Metro Health neighborhood. Why? Because Metro Health is a big old hospital, and they're investing a billion dollars in this area, into their uh, campus and into the surrounding area, which is great. Right now, I consider it to be like a high D neighborhood. There's a lot of D neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, but if I'm going to invest in a D neighborhood, I won't be in the one that's getting a billion-dollar investment. In addition, the Regional Transit Authority just committed like another $60 million investment, and you're hop, skip, and a jump from the areas that have already gentrified. Tremont, Ohio City, Gordon Square. Cleveland's also offering 15-year tax abatements for new construction homes. So if you're reading the tea leaves, folks, there's a lot of things popping in this area. Cleveland, not historically known as a cash flow market. I mean, I'm sorry, Cleveland, historically known as a cash flow market, not an appreciation market. I ain't a spec, dude. Uh, most of those people are just guessing. But, like, dude, think about it. A lot of that makes sense. It, it's uh, pretty obvious. I, I think things are going to pop over here, right? Which leads me to how jacked this house is. And that's great. That's what we want. Look at this thing. <laughs> this is a fucking piece of shit. This is a fucking shit box, okay? It's got, uh, oh, shit, look at this, man. I love you forever, T&J T, T and J 2021. Man, T&J, I am so happy you two, that love between the two of you, man. You guys are probably shooting up, loving each other, kissing each other, narcanning the shit out of each other right now. That is so special. Um, anyway, the house is jacked, right? There's two houses, two duplexes. Uh, I know the love is there between T and J, but it, it's really a fucking shithole, okay? But that is good. That's what we want. We want shitholes, right? We're trying to avoid going turnkey. You're trying to get you to make the money, right? 
And this ends up being a four unit, right? Because you can get a residential loan. It's two duplexes, and that's the best. That's the best deal ever, right? Four is better than three. Three is better than two. Two is better than one. But guess what? Four is also better than five. What? Why? You get a five unit, you can no longer qualify for beautiful 30-year fixed interest, low interest financing. So four is, in my opinion, the best investment investors can make for the long haul because it's the most rent you can get, most rent you can get, while still getting that beautiful 30-year loan. Once you get into a five unit, the terms, they suck. To be honest with you, they suck. It's really, really hard to finance a five unit, a six unit, a seven unit, an eight unit. Uh, it's just difficult. Uh, usually the people you're buying them from don't keep very good records. It's very much mom and pop assets. And commercial lenders don't really like those small, tiny assets in uh, their portfolio, right? So right now, this is like the biggest fish in a small pond. You go to five unit, you're the smallest fish in a big pond, and nobody wants to do that, right? So... I love four units, and I like this deal, even though it's a fucking shitbox, right? So, being that this is a shitbox, we have to do a lot of reno to get it going. Now, the seller wants to get $89.9 for it, right? Been on the market almost three weeks now. Duplexes in this particular neighborhood, they're going to go for about $100K usually, right? We're getting two duplexes, but you can't pay 90 The most I think it makes sense to pay... To, to factor in the risk levels and, and the extensive amount of rehab we're going to do would be 50. I think you, 50 is all you could pay. You pay 50 cash. By the time we're done renovating both of these fucking shit boxes, you're going to be every bit of 100000 into this thing, right? Uh, we need to do full renovations, make sure we handle all the lead safe stuff. I mean, dude, these are fucked up. Top to bottom, we're looking at about 50K a duplex, right? So you're looking at all in investment 150K. And then conservatively, they're worth usually 100 on their own. So we'll conservatively estimate our Burr target at 180, right? 180. Now, what we're going to get for rents, 650 and 650 out of each of the, the one bedrooms. There's two of those. And then 750 and 750 out of two bedrooms, right? So we're going to be pulling in 2,800, right? 33,600 for the year. We're not going to consider all 33,600 profit, though, right? We're going to factor in fixed and variable expense estimates, right? So pure profit, probably about a little bit over 17. And if we're all in at 150, we get it to appraise at our 180. That means that bank on that beautiful 30-year loan, right? They're going to loan us back 135 of our 150, meaning we only got 15 tied into the deal, folks. We only got 15 tied into the deal. After we pay off our mortgage, we're looking at a clear cash flow in our pocket, average of about 10 and a half a year. And we only tied up 15. That's a 70% return on your investment. Will every year go that way? No. But that's what I expect this to do on the long haul. So is the deal going to be a mess? Oh, yeah. Is the renovation going to take a while? Definitely. Is this a fucking shitbox? You bet your ass this is a shitbox. This property is terrible. It is hit. Uh, but, yeah, you drop a hundo into it, do the refi. It's all going to make sense, and you're in a D-grade neighborhood right now, I think, makes a lot of sense to put Section 8 tenants in it, but who knows, 10, 15 years down the road with all the tax abatements, new construction, uh, the billion from Metro Health, the $60 million from the Regional Transit Authority, proximity to Ohio City, Gordon Square, Tremont, downtown. I think this thing makes a lot of sense. So if you got what it takes, if you could stomach forking over that kind of cash to have my team handle all the boots on the ground stuff for you, this one gonna make some money. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.